All right, guys, this is the Tascam MixCast 4, and this is what we use to record uh, audio in OHS TV Studio. This is the board that we use whenever we uh, also do our live broadcasting. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use this board to basically record the audio for a podcast that you might want to do. Uh, so first couple things you need to know about this board is that it does have a power uh, supply. The power supply actually gets plugged into this slot right here. It's kind of weird. You want to take the, the end. It's got a screw on as well. You want to take the end. You want to put it all the way in it first. Put it all the way in first and then you can screw this latch on and plug it into the wall. While I have this back here, I want to show you a couple of different things. Uh, so you can actually record everything directly from uh, this um, device and it records onto an SD card. So on my computer desk in my classroom, I have a SD card that's got a, a green circle on it and on the circle is written the word, the letters POD, P-O-D. Uh, that is mostly, we're going to use that SD card for recording podcast. So if you're going to record a podcast, please get that SD card off my desk uh, and use that. Now it could change from years from now, but for now in 2023, 2024, uh, that's what we're doing. The SD card, it goes in this slot right here. So um, you would do it with the label facing up towards you and it would just go straight in there. It's spring loaded, so you'd push it in and it would lock and then to get it out, you push again and it will uh, spring out. Uh, as we look here at the back, I know that the text is obviously backwards because I have a, a front facing cam on right now, but this is the mic inputs. So your microphones would go plugged into here. And then over here on this side is the corresponding headphone input. So if you're using mic one, then you're going to use headphone one as well. Um, and that will bring me to my next point. Um, the, um, headphones that we have for class. I have basically three of these Audio Technica broadcasting headsets. These things are super, super nice. So we have to take really good care of them. I think uh, each pair of these headphones is like 219 bucks. So uh, this is literally what like a broadcaster would use uh, live on the air. So uh, it's obviously got the headset and the mic. Uh, mic is super high quality. It runs really, really well. And then on the ends of each one of these headsets is both a mic uh, input. This is for the mic. So this would go into, if I'm using uh, the number one slot, it would go into one on the headphones. And then this cable also has the, um, the well, that's the headphone. This is the mic. So this is the mic portion of the headset. It would also go into one. So we have three of these. So three people can use headsets at one time. I'd like to get a fourth one, but you know, right now, uh, maybe I don't actually have one. Hopefully, whenever you're watching this video and you're in this class, we do have a fourth one. But as of right now, in 2023-2024, uh, we do not. Um, additionally, the only other thing I think you might want to know um, back here, we're not really ever going to use the monitor outs. The USB here, this is actually nice. This is a micro USB. Uh, this is how I connect this mixing board to the laptop that we use whenever we do live broadcasting. So USB is out of this into the laptop, goes into OBS Studio, and OBS Studio recognizes this mixed cast so like the weekly newscast that we always do that's how we link this to um, the newscast uh, other thing you might want to know is you can actually use a aux cable to plug in your phone and if you have any music you want to play during the podcast off of your phone or audio uh, you can do that as well through here too so uh, i'm going to pause i'm going to fire this thing up and i'm going to show you uh, how to level mics uh, and a few things about the actual board once it's turned on all right, to power this device on, the power button is right here uh, next to the power cable. So I hold it for a second. You're gonna see the lights come on, I release, uh, and then this thing is now firing up. So uh, I'll go ahead and take all my sliders and move them down because they don't need to be up just yet. Uh, and now it'll always go to this screen first. It says preparation. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and hit X here. And then it's gonna read the SD card that I have in there now. So right at the top here, you're gonna see um, my SD card that I have in here could hold up to four hours and 23 minutes uh, worth of audio. So if your podcast is going to be underneath that threshold, then your SD card should be just fine. Uh, now let's look at all the different buttons that are on here. So first off, uh, mixing boards to some people are usually confusing, but they're really not that bad. Uh, these down here, these four are going to be your mic controlling how loud your mic is going to be. So uh, for slot one, which is what I have my headset plugged into right now, um, this would control my mic. I don't have the headset on my head right now, but you can already tell by looking here 
at the level here, it's picking up my voice just as I'm talking right now. So as I take this down, now it's not getting any audio from the microphone because I have it all the way down. So I'll have that all the way up here. Usually you want to be somewhere near the zero. You can kind of see where the zeros are uh, on here and that's a good spot to live. Uh, now, if I wanted to mute a channel, I could mute the channel. So like sometimes whenever I'm doing my now airing podcast, so if I'm gonna, if I'm talking to a guest and I'm about to, uh, maybe I'm about to take a drink, I'll mute my channel so that way the listener doesn't have to listen to me gulp my drink or if I'm gonna have a chip or something like that. Uh, likewise, if I wanna solo a channel, maybe everybody's being super loud and there's multiple people on the podcast, I can hit solo and then now that channel is gonna be the only channel that's actually getting to speak. Um, so there's that. Now let's talk about monitor. So your monitor, that would be your headset. So this is how loud are you hearing uh, you know, yourself in here. Now, the one cool thing about podcasts that I really like, I feel like when you have these headsets on um, or you have headphones on, you're talking to somebody, you hear your own voice, you hear their voice, and it cuts out that outside sound. So it makes the conversation really just, there's no distractions. You know? You're talking, you can hear each other perfectly clearly. Um, and you're blocking out all that ac extra background noise. So um, it's up to you where you want the monitors. But I can tell you right now, when you have your headsets on, um, depending on how loud you have yours, this is how loud you're going to hear not only you, but everybody else. And again, you do hear your own voice in your headset while you're talking. It's kind of one of those things where for some people, it's weird to get used to. Uh, and as you can tell, the vocal level there just spiked a bunch because I have my um, headset on my head. But uh, moving forward, let's just keep going here. Um, you can, like I said, connect your phone via um, aux cable. And if you're going to do that, then you would use uh, either this one or this one. I cannot really remember. I want to say it's this one, actually. I'm not really sure, though. But you can connect uh, via aux on the back. You just play with these, figure out which one it is that is um, getting the audio. Uh, maybe an easier way is you can connect via Bluetooth. So I'll show you how to connect via Bluetooth in a second. Whenever I do my podcast, I always start my podcast out with a song. It's a song from the band that I'm in, Barely Covered. I'll I'll have that play, and then in the middle of it playing, I'll say, uh, welcome to the Now Airing Podcast. Or I say, my, my catchphrase is, what's up, Airheads? You are listening to the Now Airing Podcast with your host, Tyler Airing, where we talk about all things sports, music, and all the above. I am here today with a special guest, blah, blah, blah. That's how my podcast always starts. And then I, I always have the music loud at first and I let it play for just a little bit, and then as I'm getting ready to start talking, I start fading it out, and I'm fading it out as I'm talking, so it's not just going to like complete utter silence at first. All right, and then this right here is actually going to be for these pads that are over here. Now, if you can see and read on here, there are different things programmed into each of these. You're not gonna be able to hear it in this video, um, unless, well, maybe if I turn the, the monitor way up, I turn this way up, and then I'm oh, getting some schooling out of there now. But I put the headphone next to my um, speaker on my phone here. And I turn this up. There you go. You can probably hear that. So that adds uh, audience applause. All right, so you get the point. If you play with those buttons down there, the drum pad, uh, and you can actually program sounds into it. I've never really messed with it, but um, it's not really something that's integral to my podcast. But if you had some sort of noise that you wanted, you know, popping up during your podcast, uh, you would program it in them in that way. Now, um, before I start talking about how to record the podcast, I need to tell you how to um, level your audio level. So um, first off, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put the heads, the screen back on myself. All right, first off, your most important tool for leveling audio is making sure that everyone that's using the podcast and using the microphones knows how to use a microphone. Now, the nice thing about these headsets is that the microphone is fixed. So if you can get it where it's supposed to be, then even if you move your head and you change your location, the mic is gonna stay the same distance from your mouth. Now, if you're a person that's using a corded mic, you have to understand that if you're talking to the mic like this, and then you're talking to the mic, you know, where it's down here lower, you're gonna get two completely different audio levels. So when you get mixed, wherever you're talking into it, it'd be better if you put it on a mic stand and then you just sat with it that distance from your face all the time. So what I always tell people on my podcast to get the best audio quality I possibly can is when they put these headsets on, I want them to take two fingers, put it like this, make sure that the microphone is pointed directly at their mouth and that there's only a gap of two fingers 
in between. Why do I do that? Because then I know that whenever I level them, I can get a consistent sound and it's pointed directly at their mouth. What you'll see some people do, and if they take a drink or something like that, which is perfectly fine on the podcast, they're your guest. But if they take a drink or something like that, they might do this, but you're gonna have to remind them, hey, two fingers, get it back. Otherwise, you're gonna have inconsistent audio during the course of your podcast. And the number one thing that people uh, wanna have when they listen to a podcast is good audio. If there's no good audio, then it's no good. So if you're using the headsets, do the two finger trick. If you're using a microphone, I would recommend putting it on a mic stand uh, and then being conscious about making sure you're the same distance away from it at all times. Now, also this board um, supports four microphones, four headsets. So if you are trying to have more than four people on your podcast, then you're gonna have to have a corded mic and people are going to have to share that mic. Uh, and maybe they don't have headphones on, they're just listening to the, you know, people talk, you know, organically through the air um, and not through a headset. But um, yeah, that's how that would go. All right, I'm gonna turn it back over to the board and we'll show you a couple more things. All right, so I am now gonna show you how to level. Now, if I'm talking very loudly, you see how mine is peaking, it's getting red here on this meter. I do not want this to be red. If it's red, then it's gonna sound all gargly on the uh, actual recording and that's not gonna be good for anybody to hear. So how do you adjust the settings for user to user? First off, I will say that I project loudly. I usually talk very loud, so my gain on my mic does not have to be as high as usually my guest. But here's how you do it. In the top left of the screen, this is a touch screen. In the top left, there's these three lines. I click the three lines and then this is where I have my menu where I can, I can adjust things. So first off, to adjust the microphone, I go to the first box here, click the first box, and now you see the four microphones. So I am currently plugged into microphone one. I click on microphone one, and the sweet spot is you want your uh, vocals to be living in that yellow range. So right now, the way I'm talking, I'm not talking uh, any differently than I normally would. Uh, this is a good spot for me to be. If I was peaking too loud, you would see this slider here if I take it up higher. Um, now it's just touching red all the time. That's that's way, way too loud. And that's not going to be good for the listeners. Um, and likewise, if I come way down here, you're going to see that I'm not even getting close to that yellow area. So it's really important that your person is living somewhere in that yellow area. And I, I always personally err on the side of if I touch red every now and then, that's okay. And the reason why is because nothing's more frustrating than listening to a podcast or sometimes when the the speaker gets a little bit quieter, you can't hear them. I would rather them be just a little too loud every now and then than be too quiet and not be able to be heard. Um, now, next thing you need to know is that the mics that we're using now are dynamic mics. So if you plug a microphone in that is a condenser mic, it will prompt you whenever you open the screen. So when we do the weekly newscast every week, right now our weatherman and our lunch person, so this year it is, um, Willow Miles and Owen Binkholder, they are using a mic that's a condenser mic. So if theirs is not switched to condenser, then it will pick up no audio. So if you're looking at this screen and you have the mic plugged in and you're talking into it and you're getting no level there whatsoever, then it is purely because you do not have their uh, the right mic chosen. You have to go to the condenser mic. But for the most part, most of the mics are gonna be dynamic and that's actually what you want. Um, next, let's talk about voice settings. I always like, I put a deep tone on mine. Uh, it doesn't change it, you know, too terribly much, uh, but you can click around and you can hear yourself. I prefer the deep tone. I think it just sounds better. Um, and then effect settings. Um, I don't ever really play with that. Room reverb. I just really don't think it's necessary for the uh, application that we're using. If we were trying to like sing and play music on here, then maybe we could put some reverb on, but just for talking, I don't really know that it's necessary. So I'm not gonna use it. Uh, in front and rear, I'm actually not even sure what this means, but when I just clicked front, it did not sound good at all. So um, I'm going to use uh, rear. And then when I go to mic two, you can, oh, there's a there's a spot on the, the front of the board. That's what that means. And that's there's only one spot where you can plug it on the front and that's why uh, you don't have anything there. So. Uh, you can use this uh, thing up here to go from like one, two, three, and four. And then also you can use it to go from your uh, USB, if you're plugged into a USB, uh, from your smartphone, uh, from Bluetooth, uh, plug your Bluetooth in. This is also where um, I think you can start pairing. Actually, no, that's not. 
but anyways, this is where you adjust your mics. This is an extremely crucial part of your podcast. You want to make sure you're living in that yellow. If you're living in the yellow, then you're good to go. Uh, next, uh, let's go back here. If you wanted to connect Bluetooth, let's see. Uh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. I guess it is here where you connect Bluetooth. So you click Bluetooth. You hit pairing, I'm disconnected. Oh, it's because my phone is already probably connected. Uh, actually, no, it's not. It's searching right now. I think the last person who was connected to this was probably Noah Caldwell because they do the 28 Nothing But Change podcast. Um, and I bet his phone is connected. So if I went to my Bluetooth settings right now and I started searching, then I would probably find the Tascam Mix Cast 4. And then I could, you know, connect to the Mix Cast 4. And then once you're connected, then this uh, Bluetooth slider here whatever audio you play through your phone will go through there. And you'll also hear through your headphones through the monitor, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then, is there anything else I need to show you in these things? Don't really need to see anything here. And your SD card, you don't really need to see anything here. This is all perfectly fine. Please don't even mess with this because I don't want you to change uh, anything that's on it. Okay, next. Um, to actually start your uh, recording your podcast, all I'd have to do to start recording my podcast is hit uh, the record button. So once I hit the record button, you're going to see here in the top um, that the uh, recording has started. So what I am saying right now technically is being recorded on this SD card. Now you have two choices here. Um, you can either uh, hit pause. So I hit pause. And it, sometimes I use pause during my podcast, like if we need to go take a restroom break or if... Uh, I want to ask the person I'm interviewing about if maybe the next thing I'm about to ask is okay to talk about or something like that. Uh, but there are positive reasons to be able to use that pause feature. And then whenever I'm ready to resume again, all I have to do is hit this again, and then it's going to start recording again. You'll see the time is going up. When you are actually done with your podcast, you will hit stop. And then you will be able to name your podcast. It's going to name it on that SD card. Um, and then you are good to go from there. So um, and I have actually never used Mark. Let's click Mark and see what it does. I don't even actually know. I guess it, maybe it's going to signify something to me on uh, the file save um, that there was a Mark made. Or maybe it, you know, splits it and makes it uh, multiple tracks wherever I hit Mark. I'm not really sure. But um, let's go ahead and stop this podcast, stop recording. So I hit stop. And then I, I am sure I want to stop recording. But realize that when you're on the screen, it is still going up. So don't say something ridiculous until you are completely done and you've hit yes again. Now, um, where it says podcast one, you would delete it and please name it uh, something that, you know, if it's 28 nothing but change, name it whoever you're interviewing. If it's somebody else, name it your guys' names. I don't know, but make sure that you can read, you know, what this is based on who you are and what you've recorded. So I'll just call this Tyler Test because I'm testing it out. Um, whoops. And then once you're done with this and you hit OK, that thing is now saved and is now on that SD card. Um, the next video will actually be about um, how to get your audio off the SD card and how to edit it. Um, just a you know quick preview. Whenever this device um, saves your audio, it saves it directionally either in the left or right ear. So basically we have to take the audio uh, put it into a program and make it to where everything comes through both ears. Also, if your podcast gets to be up over like 30 minutes long, it always splits the file. So you're going to have to combine the files. Uh, the program that I use um, to put together the audio portion of my podcast is called Audacity. Maybe you've used it before, maybe you haven't. Uh, very super simple. The next video will be about how to use Audacity to edit your podcast. And that is all. That is the Tascam Mixcast 4. Also, I guess I should say, please make sure you always turn this thing off. Return it where you got it from in the classroom. Uh, plug it back up the way it was whenever you took it. It's probably set up for the weekly newscast. Uh, and then always uh, wind your headphones back up and put your headphones away. And it'll be ready for the next person or you if you're the next person to use it again.